Hi, this is Denise with Bay Area HQ. We're outside Ruby Sky in San Francisco. We're about to go inside and interview Will Sparks, Australia's number one DJ. What can the crowd here at Ruby Sky expect tonight from your show? A lot of new music, you know, I'm always working on stuff. Um, I'm constantly on the road, so it's like, you know, and I've got no, got no friends on the road, so all I, my only friend is my computer. So, you know, that's, yeah, it's always new music and a lot of energy and um, just, you know, it's going to be a bounce house tonight. That's awesome. I hear actually you're a super hyper performer. How do you keep up your energy doing your shows? Um, I think it's just the, I get energy from the music and that's the, that's the drug, you know, and the feeling I get from that is like nothing else. So that's the only thing that gets me going, but it's also a good cardio workout. So I love it. <laughs> so speaking of cardio, you do a lot of high jumps and stunts. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, it's just natural, I guess. I've always been into sport and um, I've always leaped on shit. I've, I used actually used to be an um, inline rollerblader. And um, that was before this whole DJ thing and I was actually um, getting somewhere with it. So I used to jump on rails and um, do a lot of skate kind of shit. So I think that's where I got my hops from. So if you weren't a DJ, would you do that professionally? Definitely. That's like a, a lot of injuries, right? A lot of falling, a lot of practicing. This is probably a little bit uh, less painful of a career. Yeah, well, that's why I stopped because I broke my arm about seven times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Seven times, that's a lot. <laughs> I heard your remixes for Maroon 5 Maps and Blurred Lines. Blurred Lines is like super popular, blowing up the internet. Can you tell me what the remix process is like? Well, yeah, my management get onto them or they get onto us and they want a remix, so they send it to me and, you know, it's usually within 24 or 48 hours I have to deliver something. That's where the best remixes come from. The, um, the quicker they are, I think, the more simple and, yeah, so that's how it happens. But, you know, you get the stems, you put them in the project, you see what key you're working with and you just go from there. So that's how a remix really works. It's quite easy. Well, that's cool. I heard that you listen to a lot of Rod Stewart and the Bee Gees growing up. <laughs> What's your favorite song and will you sing it for us? I'm definitely not going to sing it for you. <laughs> but my favorite song would probably be um, It Takes Two by Rod Stewart. In, on that side, uh, Bee Gees probably staying alive, would you say? Probably something else, but I can't think of the top of my head. You could sing Staying Alive right now. I'll Get a few octaves up. If you <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass myself. Okay. How did you start DJing? Um, I just was very passionate about the idea. Um, I used to attend a lot of festivals at home when I was underage. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I just wanted to do what they did. And it, it actually came from making my own music. And by making my own music, I wanted to play it out to um, people and clubs and see what the reaction was, because that's the whole point of it, to share your uh, what you've done, your work. It's kind of like a reward. So that's how I had, I had to start DJing, because I, I started producing first. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. And how did you start producing first? My friend came over with a beat program, and he's like, check this out. I can do this and that. And I was like, I can too. And then... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's just been a learning process ever since then. You learn every day. What's your favorite part of the Bay Area? Of the Bay Area? Yes. Um, I love the steep hills. So um, it's, it's very fun to challenge myself running up them. <laughs> That's actually really like out of this world how steep those hills are. But in terms of areas, I don't know where I am yet most of the time, but I've, I love the shopping. The shopping's amazing in San Francisco. Um, the tram areas makes me feel, feel at home because there's trams in Melbourne. So, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, definitely. Take Bart all the time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the interview and good luck tonight thank out there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs>